Hello everybody, welcome back. D do you ever wish things could go back the way they used to be? And I don't mean anything related to this year, 2020 and all the things that's gone on. Yeah, I'm not referring to any of that. You know, people uh, change and people's interests change and uh, It's been a trying season out here this year. And I and I that's where I'm at. I, w I wish things could go back the way they used to be. But I don't think they are anytime soon. And yeah, what I just said about people change and their inter interests change and the things they do and or what want to do and who they do them with and things change so sometimes it comes a time when enough's enough and it's time to move on don't know what else to say about that right now I'll probably just leave it at that so we're gonna go somewhere new today we uh, somewhere we haven't been before and we're actually south of Quartzsite, headed south uh, on 95 towards Yuma. But we're going to get off of this road and uh, take a little detour somewhere we haven't been before. And it's supposed to be beautiful. New and beautiful. I, th I think that's the thing to do. Letting Bella out here. Uh, and we may run into uh, some friends out here. Not a bunch of them. It's a couple. What do you say, Bella? No, oh, no, come on this way. Bella just stopped taking care of some things. <laughs> we just stopped at this little pull off over here. This was called the, uh, I think it's still called the stone cabin, but it doesn't look like it's made out of stone. They, at some point, I think they put a new, uh, kind of a, like a plaster or uh, a mortar, mortar uh, coating on it doesn't look as rustic as when it was stone still a little sign up on the corner of the building that says oasis and they did a little uh since the last time we were by here they did some excavating around the the building here there were what was left of some old gas pumps in front of it maybe they plan on reviving this place or something We're going to turn right up here at these big, impressive oops, Imperial Dam Road here. Uh, yeah, at these big, impressive guns here. Wouldn't that be something to uh, practice or train and shoot those things out here in the desert? Continue for seven miles. Maybe shoot them out into the mountains. <laughs> That'd be impressive to see. Okay, this road, this road is U.S. Army property. And I'm not sure where the Army base begins and where it ends. I, and we're going to be passing some of it. Then we go out the other side, I think, to Imperial Dam. They do have a visitor center here. I would imagine the, if there's any inside doors or anything, that stuff's all probably closed. They may have some things outside here, though. We're going to turn in here a minute at the Visitor Control Center. That's what the sign said back there. I guess that's where they control the visitors. We stop here at least you know for a quick minute they got various tanks here on display it's a historical uh, area that has uh, 
different tanks from different er eras and various types and purposes. And they have descriptions on them uh, where some of them, well, which what each one does and where some of them were used at. And I, I think that one over there was, uh, that placard said that it was actually in combat in Vietnam. So, yeah, various tanks from various eras. I wonder how they came up with the name Honest John Rocket. <laughs> Honest John. And this is a little John Rocket. That placard's all worn off. And that is a M386 launcher, the six, uh, 762 mm rocket. I guess that means millimeter, 762 millimeter rocket, truck mounted. And some other guns out here. And this was a 40 millimeter towed anti-aircraft gun. And I guess it was just used at Yuma Proving Grounds to test fuses and projectiles. So maybe it never actually seen combat. It's just used here for testing. And same thing here. This one here was also used for testing. Uh, four and a half inch towed multiple rocket launcher. <laughs> Huh, they look all welded shot. All right, I don't know when I'll be back out this way again. I just wanted to stop for a little bit while we're here. We're gonna move on here. I should probably clarify something I said about, you know, people's interests changing. That includes my own. You know, maybe I, wanted to explore some other interests but my my main interest interest I think in traveling you know even before I started RVing you know whether it's out my motorcycle or my pickup truck you know I've I've always had the you know like being out on an adventure and exploring so that hasn't changed I'll probably have to I'll probably revert um, back to that more solo and Doing, doing, doing what I like to do. I, I may have explored the, out here with more people and going around the different events, RVing events uh, or nomad events out here. I, I may have explored that fully. I don't think I need to explore that anymore. At least not to the extent that I have been. All right, we're gonna get on out here to the, I think it's called Senator Wash to be more specific. It's in the uh, Imperial Dam area. So we'll get down here and see if we can find it. Sign back there says we have left the proving grounds. And the GPS says we're now back in California because we just crossed the Colorado River. So we'll be in California for a little bit. I think that's free camping up there on the left. Oh, and the light. I think that's all BLM camping. And I think where we're going is a, actually a fee area. Well, so we've come up on a hill and there's a long-term visitors area up here. station the pay station is Senator 
Wash boat ramp. Squaw Lake. I want to get down by the lake. Hopefully there's a pace center down in that area. I think there's like a $5 day use area. I think maybe I'll just check that out uh, before we make any camping decisions. Here is some of the lake, and I see RVs around the different places. I want to see if we can find a place to place to camp down here somewhere, maybe, or at least hang out for a while. Hmm. I think maybe I see somebody I know. Is that be? Could that be Darian Scott? I think it is. A little fuzzy here on the screen. Well, they like to be by the water. I bet that's them. Because <laughs> I know they're here somewhere. I'm not going to figure out how to get over there. We did find the water in Terry and Scott, and I wanted to get the RV down there and into a spot and make sure I had cell service because I heard it was real spotty out here, and it is. We come out here, I didn't have any until just as I pulled into the spot down there, all of a sudden I had two bars. <laughs> so um, that's good. So we're going to stay a night, and I got the e-bike off. I thought, I'll ride back up here to the where you pay the fee. and. All the signs indicated that I could pay the fee out here, but now I don't know if it's a you know your honor system and well no you got to display a permit in your windshield or side window, but the uh, box that has the envelopes and all that stuff is gone. Now it says to go pay at the South Shore uh, BLM office or LTVA office. So that's actually quite a ways back it was a lot longer than i thought and rougher roads and turns and hills i don't know if i feel like taking the e-bike all the way back there uh some of the, some of the, even though it's the e-bike it's there's some there's some hills actually i mean it's it's gonna take some and i just fully charged my battery recently i don't know if i want to run my battery down i might get the motorcycle off and go on it it needs run i think it's due to be run I don't know yet. So there is a $10 day use fee, $15 for overnight, or a $75 annual pass. And I think that allows you to uh, use this area for, and we're gonna go down and see it here in a minute. It's just beautiful area down here. We'll go down there in a minute. Um, $75 annual pass fee. I think you can use this, yeah, you can use this area for up to 14 days. And then you do have to go somewhere else for, I don't know, maybe 14 more days. But then you can keep coming back here all year long. So, uh, and I, I think it allows you some, uh, able to use the LTV, the regular LTV A areas. They're um, not to stay at them, but to use their facilities like water and dump stations in, in other areas. So. Yeah, well, explanation of where your fees go from operational costs and repair and maintenance. And there's some of that going on that we'll be passing. Yeah, attention, this station is closed. Please use the pay station at the South Shore located across from the contact station. Eh, yeah, boy. All right. Good old e-bike. What's nice is some of that recreational um, fees, yeah, they go into the uh, repair and maintenance, and it's really nice. Uh, well, just wait and see what they've done down here. You'll see when we get there. Yes, and this is the Senator Wash North Shore Recreation Area. Yeah, entering recreation fee area, permit required. 
Um, I stayed to the left and went down that road. And But I'm going to take this other way. It comes out the same spot. Just so we can see a couple things here. So they have four different uh, bathrooms uh, over here on the North Shore. Uh, you know, vault toilets. There's no water, but... And then here's a couple sites down here. And some of the sites have uh, like fire rings and, and barbecue grills. And somewhere Carrie said she's seen uh, a couple sites that had picnic tables. But I haven't seen them yet. But look, yeah, somebody's got a big class A there. There's a big fifth wheel and a class C. So, you know, the roads look a little treacherous, but you know, if you take your time and watch what you're doing, you can get down here. A couple old fire rings uh, over there. All right, here's why I took the other road. I think Scott and Terry came this way, and this is uh, this can be a little rough going through here. So I'm, I'm glad I had some directions from them. I could have made this. Okay, let's go over to the bigger part of the lake. These are just little inlets. Yeah, we have a really nice view over here. Oh, and I should probably give, uh, I should probably mention coyotes. A lot of coyotes and other wildlife in the area. Okay, and there's a path up there to another bathroom. Oh, maybe that's where the picnic tables are at. Let's check this area out. Take a little bit of hill climbing up here. Come on, e-bike. No, pretty much just room to turn around up here. I think if you camped, eh, you might block people if they come up and want to turn around. There's a little, one little spot back there. I guess you could go up there. You have a pretty nice view. See a lot of these brush piles around here. Uh, they've been cutting all the underbrush from under these trees and so now you know it, it uh, increases the view and too a nice breeze kind of moves through here a lot better too and as, uh, there's more of that oh and from all the trimming there's a bunch of wood, uh, piles of firewood around too <laughs> there's a little there's a little camp spot with some firewood but there's bigger piles we got a pretty nice stock of firewood down where we're at. Okay, a place here you could get a number of rigs at. There's a grill, some fire pits. And that's our neighbor over there. And, uh, we're on the other side of those people there. And they have another uh, barbecue grill down there. And I think you can see just the edge of Scott and Terry's rig there to the straight out there. So the bounder's hiding up in here somewhere. We're not right on the water quite as well, but that's okay. We have a we have a, a great view. There's the bounder in the trees. Yeah, more brush piles. Where's our firewood at? Okay, eh, there's some firewood. Some of it's bigger and needs split, and some of it is smaller and is ready to go. There's two more fire uh, piles of firewood and brush, and there's a bunch over here.
But you can imagine how thick this was. You know, if you look over on this side, you know, those trees are pretty thick in there. And going and cutting all that underbrush, um, man, just makes a huge difference. You can actually see the water from here where it would have been blocked with all this, all this undergrowth, another wood pile. There's a real nice wood pile down there. There's a lot of quail around. This looks like a really nice camp spot down here. Car in a tent. There we go. Wow, side by side in the fifth wheel, whole way back here. Some kayaks. I think this is the end of the road. Another fire pit. Uh, you're on a little beach. Uh, nice palm. Nice old palm tree here. Another fire ring. Yeah, there are so many camp spots back here. So many. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, looks like still a lot of a lot of cleanup work yet. There's still a lot of trees to trim and a lot of brush that's already cut that needs cleaned up. They got their work cut out for them. Now I don't know. Oh wow! Wow, this is pretty awesome. Kind of a dead end here. Access to the water. The water is so clear. Nice fire ring, just a little one, and plenty of firewood. There's places that just zigzag all through here, and you can go down in there for another spot. And I think, I think, let me see here. Now this is just a turnaround. I guess this is the river that creates the, that's dammed up. I guess this is the supply. There's a guy down there sitting in a lawn chair. I'm guessing his camp is just down around the corner there. I'd really like to try to get some, a uh, couple nice photographs of coyote. So maybe this evening when they start coming out and acting up, maybe that'll happen. Let's see what other kind of wildlife can maybe get some pictures of. But I think I'll head back and uh, maybe take Bella out for a walk. Oh yeah, I gotta go get to the motorcycle and I still gotta go pay and stuff. <laughs> going to jump ahead a little bit. I did take the motorcycle for a ride over to the South Shore and paid our fees. And when we came back, took advantage of some of the firewood that was here and had a nice fire and Terry had made a, a nice dinner. And it was nice to sit around the campfire, uh, really quiet out here. It was a, a really nice evening. Uh, Bella, she went down to the water and you know, played around a little bit. She really liked that and it was nice to get all of the dust. <laughs> you know, Bella collects so much dust out here in the desert at times that she's like a big powder puff. She's all dusty looking and if you pat her, a whole dust cloud comes off of her. 
So it was nice that uh, she played around the water and, and got washed off pretty nice. Speaking of Bella, yeah, she loves going down to the water. She's never one to go in deep enough to go swimming. <laughs> She'll only go like shoulder, shoulder deep. And, and this is nice, you know, there's grass is growing. Don't see a whole lot of that in the desert. Come on, girl, this way. Yeah, she likes to go down and splash around a little bit and, you know, drink some fresh, cool water. Come on, this way. Come on, girl. You gonna get a cool drink this morning? Hmm? Are you gonna get a cool drink? That's okay, I don't want her going in so much as she did the other night. And get totally soaked to go back in the bounder. We'll have to get a towel, girl, and draw you off. Come on, this way. Come on. Bada, bada. This way. Huh? That's it. Maybe that's enough for her. Maybe not. You know, the other thing that keeps some of the dust down is there's actually moisture in the air here by the, you know, by the water. There's dew on things this morning. So the dust isn't so bad in, around here. But I do need to get these packed up this morning, get these all loaded up and strapped down. We are going to get out of here this morning. Had I known this place was here, you know, earlier I'd been here sooner it's, it's been nice here uh, a nice break from all the the dusty dusty desert and you know there's more green around here being right by the water the trees are bigger and greener and uh, you know it's kind of hilly and through here just kind of a different landscape it's been nice here so anyway we're gonna get heading out of here today and I don't know what's up next we're gonna go down to Yuma and go shopping and then I have no idea what direction we're headed I have an idea, but we're going to save that for another video. I hope you like this place as well. Thanks for coming along. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.